everybody, it's Hypernox back with part 10 of Let's Play A Link to the Past. Last time we left off, we just finished the Dark Palace. And now that we got this little magic hammer, we got quite a bit of stuff that we can do. That'll, you know, help speed up the process of... What are these? Doing? Nothing? Okay. Speed up the process of moving around and about, out and about. Uh, come on. Not fun re navigating back through this place. Yeah, alright. So this is the way back out. And these are the stupid vultures of the Dark World. Which I don't like them. Ooh. Let's see what that fairy's cave turned into. Or is it still? That's still a fairy cave. Or sorry, great fairy fountain. If you want to get technical. Alright, remember how I couldn't push down those pegs? And procrastinate even more about doing the Dark Palace? Well, now we can. Also, some of those come to life. It's just so you know. Also, this is Link's house in the Dark World. There is a bomb shop here. It, 100 rupees for 30 bombs, 30 bombs for just 100 rupees. Please buy them. No thanks, because you don't have the one we actually want. Yeah. He sells a big bomb. -bom er, yeah, bomb. -bom. He sells a big bomb l way later. That's required for certain things later on. Which we'll get into later. But first, let's go to the, the this little grove area. It's not the secret grove, because that's where we got the Master Sword. Let's talk to this guy. After wandering into this world, I turned into the shape. I enjoyed playing the flute in the original world. I remember seeing a guy playing the flute. There was a small grove where many animals were gathered. I want to see that place again. I buried my flute there with some flower seeds. Will you try and find it? Yes. And he gives us a shovel. All right, no. <laughs> so if we warp back, it's this guy actually, and we just gotta dig up his flute, which honestly I think is like right there. Yeah. Oh, here's the flute. This music surely has a mysterious power. And if we play it... Yeah, it does that. And let's play it for him. Oh, thank you, Link. It looks like I can't play my flute anymore. Please take it. If by chance you go to the village I lived in, please give it to a tired old man. What you found there? My mind is getting hazy. Please let me hear the sound of the flute one last time. And with that final song, he turns into a tree. Well, let's do what he said, and head back to Kakariko Village. Besides, there's some stuff in the light world we should do now that we have the magic hammer. Which will help us out quite a lot. And go away, guys. Alright, so... Remember that old man we talked to in the bar? Well, that was apparently his son, or grandson, I can't remember. What? Why is the Hyrule theme still playing? Hmm. 
Snore. Hmm, he's not responding. Mumble, mumble. Oh, this is my son's flute. Did you meet my son? Where is he? Is he alright? Oh, I see. Well, I can tell what you want to say by the look in your eyes. Would you keep the flute, and will you play its sweet melody for the bird in the village square? I beg of you, please. My son will probably want it this way, but still, I wish I could see him once more. And what he's telling us is to go to the... Oh, that's why. You stand on this S, and you play it in front of this. And it explodes, and we get a real bird. And with that, if we play our flute, watch. The bird will carry us to one of eight places, which is really nice, actually. It's a quick little teleport, and I believe it even works in the dark world, which is cool. Get away from me, man. Oh, so let's see. If we go to where the blacksmith's house was, let's get our hammer out. Oh, we should probably do this too. Oh, well, I can't do that. Alright, so we break this down, jump in here. No, wait, dang it. We don't have the stuff for it. Yeah, we don't have the stuff for it. Dang it. Forgot we didn't get the magic powder from Maple yet. Oh, a perfect example to show where the flute goes. Again. Right in front of Maple's house, actually. Thank you, young man. Come back to the shop later for something good. Oh, come on, man. I want my stupid... Oh, she had it. This is magic powder. Try to sprinkle it on enemies and many other things. Well, now that we have that... Remember those bubble-type things? The little skulls with the red circles around them? If you spray... If you... Uh, hit them with the magic powder, I believe you can turn them into normal fairies. Because they're the actual name which isn't bubbles, is anti-fairies. Yeah, I didn't know that until I looked it up. Because I always like knowing the enemy names. Uh, let's fall back down here. And now... We get the magic powder. And... Sprinkle it on here, and... This bat. Blast you for waking me from my deep, dark sleep. I mean, thanks a lot, sir. Now I'll get my revenge on you. Get ready for it. There, is that okay with you, sir? Oh, no. He cursed us. Ha, ha, ha. I laugh at your misfortune. Now your magic power will drop by one half. Congratulations. Now do your best, even though I'm sure it won't be enough. Have a nice day. Well, what he thinks he did is cut our magic in half. What he really did was double our magic. Which is always nice. And with that, we get double magic. So, alright. I think we got time to... I think it's time to head back to the dark world, sadly. Or, I don't know. Yeah, no, these guys can't tell us anything. And ooh, I don't know. Should I should I do the dungeons in order? Or should I do them the order I normally do them? Because the order I normally do them lets me be able to get straight to a lot of things. So I guess I'll do it for in the order you're supposed to for completion and sake. And we head back. Oh, it doesn't work in the dark world, alright. 
that makes sense. I mean... Ooh, a fairy. Where is the next dungeon? Oh, hookshot dungeon. Alright. Oh, spoiler. That, was, that dungeon contains the hookshot. <laughs> oh, you see this tree? How he kind of watches us? Yeah. And what happens if we charge into him? Nothing. Wow, I haven't seen a normal person in a few hundred years. Let me talk to you for a while. Once lived in the Lost Woods, until uh, well, the day I wandered into a magic transporter. The power of the Dark World quickly turned me into a tree shape. I guess the two forests are connected with each other. Well, yeah. The Dark World is literally, basically, the entire world just... The opposite, the uh, most evil version of it. All right, and yeah, dungeon two. Link at his eyes, Ashula. Oh, oh, now it's you. Objects exist simultaneously in both worlds with similar shapes. If the form of a thing changes; it will affect the shape of its twin in the other world. Hmm. Well, we can't really do anything here, so let's do his advice and. Warp back to the dark world. <laughs> or the light world, not the dark world. Hmm. I'll have to leave and come back for this. So I, cool, I got more bombs. Than what I always wanted. Because I have the inventory space for it, you know? Yeah, these guys. So let's put my theory to the test. Come, on, come here, stupid ass fairy. And yeah. Oh no, bombs! Oh no, they missed. All right, and with that, it drains out here. See if I can get this heart piece. Oh, leave me alone, guys. All right, we got another piece of heart. Um, let's head to the dark world again. And like Sahashila said, this is now full with water. And we got a key for killing enemies. Let's see. Well, that could be bombed. Yeah. This, I don't know. The dungeons later on in this game, they're okay. I don't know. Ooh, and I think these are our first instance of choo-choos, or blobs, but or are they bits and bots in this game? I can't remember. Now, leave me alone, man. <laughs> Opening the door while slamming into it. Damn it. Oh, yeah, it shoots fire. Nah. Same direction. Hmm. Well, I think we do gotta kill all the enemies here. Or... No. No. What about... Come on. Nothing? Oh, there's a... There's a door right here. I didn't even notice. Good job. 
That's what you get in Zelda if you don't pay attention. <sighs> oh. Hey. Can we? I'm starting to feel that. Let's check this wall. Yep. I just like defaulting the boomerang. Boomerang's super useful in this game. Actually, it probably isn't. I just like it too much. Just like useless doorways. I like those too, but... Yeah. Oh, the chest. Can't do anything with it. Ow. Hmm. One of these... thought if you pull on their tongue, they'd do something. These guys remind me of the water spiders from um, Super Mario 64. Oh, a chest. With the compass. Let's try that again. No, it doesn't work. You can't push those? Huh. I get a key. Ooh, more money. We should probably stop by the... What's her? The fairy who gives us stuff. Or gives us more like carrying capacity sometime. Don't hit it while it's on. Yeah, don't do. Come on, stall foes. Push this. Come on. And like normal, the water fills. So we can go back. Hey, fire, that's not very nice. And that wasn't very nice to so the choo choo or bot, whatever they're called in this game. Another one of these, so I bet you can't. Oh, you can't. No, I did it wrong. Dang. Alright. But, so, we got decently far, like halfway through this dungeon already. So. With that, I'm all out of time for this episode, and thank you guys so much for watching, hope you guys have a good day, and I will see you guys next time on Let's Play Legend Zelda A Link to the Past. Later.